Now, octopuses, um, and I, I looked it up, it's octopuses because it's a Greek word and not octopi, right? Right, right? that's right. Um, octopuses can use tools. We have this great video. That's right. Look at, this is like Certainly. me coming from Trader Joe's. <laughs> so this octopus is carrying two half coconut husks and has kept it with him or her. This is in the field, obviously not in the laboratory. Look at the coordination of the arms. That's amazing. Using its suckers to hold the two halves of the uh, coconut husk together. And she brings us around with her as a sort of home. And watch how she can use her suckers. So. And her arms, now this is not something that you would think she would have had experience with. This is probably what we would call innovation, that yes. not all members of this species of octopus, octopus cyanea, a cyanea, do this, but individual animals innovating behaviors, producing novel behaviors, novel ways of using objects in the world, and it's planning, is intelligence, right? exactly because, right. Because that octopus saw these shells and thought, I can use them to protect myself. I don't know if that's what it thought, oh. but certainly, certainly it represents a kind of planning and certainly a use of resources. For a long time, the ideas about uh, intelligence were human beings use tools and nothing else do, nothing else does. And it was humans have language and nothing else does. And the problem with that is it isn't very scientific. It's intelligence is that thing that humans do. Using tools is that thing that humans do. And when you define it that way, you aren't able to investigate it other than looking at humans and saying they're using tools. Right. When you have a thing like this, you have an example of tool use, and it's an example that another species with a completely alien brain is using a tool. Now, we can argue now about the definition of tool use, but then we have to figure out what the heck is going on with this octopus.